Hello everyone, today I'd like to talk about Microsoft Power BI. I will explain what the tool is, the types of data connections it allows, and the cost of the tool. Recently, I've been hearing that Power BI is becoming very, very popular amongst data analysts and business users. It provides a comprehensive view by helping to place key metrics into a central location, updated in real time, and available on all types of devices. So, what is Microsoft Power BI. So it's basically a suite of business analytics tools to analyze data and share insights. You can see in this graphic here that you can connect to over 50 applications, use Power BI Desktop to create visualizations, publish onto Power BI service, and then have users access the dashboards on their computers, laptops, iPads, or even smartphones. So what are the components of Power BI? Well, it consists of Windows desktop application called Power BI Desktop. Then there's an online software as a service called the Power BI Service. And then the mobile Power BI apps available on Windows phones and tablets, as well as for iOS and Android devices. Now let's talk about the types of connections. So creating a dashboard is really simple thanks to the over 50 connections um, that you can use that have basically the 50 popular business applications. Um, here's a list of the possible connection types that I've pulled down from Microsoft's website. And I've also increased the font of a few that I think are popular, at least from my perspective. I've used Excel, Salesforce, and SQL in the past. Um, so I'm really happy to see these connections out there. So having these data connections readily available makes the life of a data analyst that much easier. So let's go ahead and talk about the cost of using the tool. We can see that Power BI service has a free version and a professional version or a pro version. So let's look at some of the differences here. Both versions allow for creating and sharing dashboards and you can allow um, basically, you can access dashboards on mobile devices, you can import data from various files, and you can publish to the web. So basically, the main difference here is the data capacity limit. The free version is uh, 1 gigabyte per user, where the professional version is 10 gigabytes per user. Um, and the cost of the free version is obviously free, while the professional version is $9.99 per user per month. So in another video, I will walk through the steps on how to download the free version of the tool, and I'll demonstrate how to connect to data and how to start building dashboards. So thank you all for watching. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.